Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you my first Kinect camera experiment video. Basically, I've been playing around with it for a few nights, and on the third night, I actually started capturing some pretty interesting stuff. So I've put that together for you now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it for you first, and then, as always, we'll jump in and we'll discuss it afterwards. Okay, so I'm here. Uh, I've just set up the Kinect, and right before I even got started, I'm starting to pick up something, some sort of strange anomaly. You can see it just about. It's, it's almost as if something's sort of sat uh, comfortably on the on the sofa, and literally right here, you can you can see. It. I'll I'll cut to the to the connect camera, and it it's genuinely like something's just sat there, relaxing, and I can, I'm looking at it, and like there's. Anna, was that you? If that was you, can you come back out? Can you show yourself again? Oh, was it was it you sat over here on this sofa? Okay. So obviously. Uh, for obvious reasons, we've we've lost the Kinect camera itself, but it can still pick up all the depth map and stuff because it's working within the infrared spectrum. And um, therefore, it shouldn't really make a difference to its ability to actually track your motion. Like it still seems pretty accurate right now for me. I can move around; everything's working fine. Um, is there anybody here would like to come and come and talk to me? Would like to uh, to show yourself? It's gone. Um, was that was that somebody uh, showing themselves on camera? Can you do that again? I just need to know that that wasn't just just a coincidence that there is actually somebody here who's trying to show themselves. If it's you, can you can you sit on the sofa next to me? If I move up, I, I give you room. Uh, would you be able Would you be able to sit down, make yourself comfortable? That's you. Can you can you reach out and touch my hand? Would that be possible? Like it doesn't feel too cold. It does feel colder. Hold around here like I know it's gone now but it's like the cushions themselves have, uh, have, have picked up that, that temperature drop that was amazing can you um can you show yourself again can you maybe stand stand on the sofa would that be possible so as I say I don't think that every skeletal form in there was definitely a, a ghost uh, doing something but there was definitely something strange happening on the sofa and in that last clip the, the, i mean it's the last clip more than anything that i wanted to discuss with you yeah there there just seemed to be something different about it like yes the sofa lit up on the depth map but i think the way that that for me if i was to try and explain that way i would say that the software picked up a skeletal form with its grid but because physically there was nothing blocking that light there was nothing on the depth map to correspond with the skeletal form that it was picking up it, it didn't understand so it lit up the closest thing to it which is why for example the pillow lit up as the arm came out 
and that kind of takes me to my next point is the fact that this thing actually responded to my question i asked it to reach out and touch my hand could it do that and it looked like it was trying like it was sort of twitching about a little bit but it genuinely looked like it, it reached up as if it was going for it but then it, it just sort of couldn't do it uh and it's it's strange but it's also fascinating and moreover than that you've got the sort of the general feeling you get uh, when this stuff's happening so it was cold i said that in the video with like the, the pillows themselves were cold to the touch afterwards uh, they genuinely felt like something cold had been sat there um, and it sort of contracted that temperature change uh, but then this the sort of the the body uh, sort of reacts to a situation like that like you feel your skin prickling as if something sort of static has just brushed across it sort of you can feel your hairs prickling like not necessarily always getting goosebumps but your body does react to it and I think that for me is what verifies it as a, a paranormal occurrence. Um, obviously it's not a very visual representation, but all you've got to go on is my word, but I just, that, that for me is what verifies it as being paranormal versus just another glitch on, on the software. So that's just a couple of my thoughts, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. And, and did you enjoy this video as a whole? Uh, like I'm probably going to play around with the Kinect anyway, but if you guys enjoyed it, I will I will happily post those videos for you guys. So let me know what you think, uh, and as always, I'll post any and all activity as and when I get it.